Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I have something really special, something I've been waiting for since May, quite frankly. The unboxing of my EVGA GTX 1080 Superclock GPU card. One thing before I open this box up, I was in a dilemma of whether to go with a 1070 or a 1080 because there is a $200 difference in the cards. I thought about it for, geez, at least a week, what to do. And I decided that I didn't want to be kicking myself in the ass two years from now saying I should have spent the extra money because I really could use that power because the, this game or that game or this VR or that VR. So I decided, what the hell, let's just do it right now. Thus, I purchased this EVGA GTX 1080 Super Clock card. It's going to improve the graphics on the current games that I play. And I'm pretty much set for new things I want to do in the future. So let's get to unboxing it. Now this card is still pretty tough to get. I have been checking Newegg pretty much every day and they've been out of stock. And one day last week, midweek, happened to be in stock. I quickly put it in my cart and was able to purchase it and get it shipped. Literally two minutes after I did that, they were out of stock and they've been pretty much out of stock since. So EVGA has been releasing these cards sparsely to Newegg and probably other retailers. So I was pretty lucky to get this card. Now the box is well packaged, but I did notice there were some like scratches on the box itself underneath the shrink wrap, which probably tells me that they were pretty much in a hurry to get these things packaged up and shipped out. I'm hoping that I don't have any problems when I install it. I don't think I will, but you can see there's like a little white mark there under where it says VR ready. And that's like a scratch on the box, but I mean nothing. I'm not a nitpicker like that, but I was just wanted to point that out. EVGA has six 1080 cards in their product line. The super clock version is the second most powerful with a base clock of 1708 megahertz and a boost clock of 1847 megahertz it also sports 2560 cuda cores and 8 gigs of gddr5x memory what that all means is that this card is sick and will destroy basically any game that you throw at it on pc or even vr platforms and with a max resolution of 7680 by 4320 it can certainly handle up to even 4K video. And you get all this with a 215 watt power consumption, which is really amazing when you consider what this card is capable of. Now let's open this thing up and see what's inside. I know I can't wait to get my hands on this card. As you would expect, the card is very well protected in EVGA's packaging. You get the EVGA poster and stickers, which in my case will remain in the package. You also get a printed user guide, power cable, but I'll be using the one that's included with my EVGA power supply. And you get this EVGA sticker that you can put on your PC if you like. Now let's check out the main event. I have to say that I've always been impressed with the care that EVGA takes to make sure that their cards arrive safely. I also really like the industrial steampunk type design that EVGA has chosen for this card. And it feels well built and solid. EVGA has included a brushed aluminum backplate which apparently will pick up fingerprints but certainly provides great protection. For video connections you have one HDMI, three display port, and one DVI connector. All of them coming with included port protectors. This card has an 8 pin power connector and white LED logo that will light up when installed. It also has EVGA's new ACX 3.0 cooling, which apparently improves on 2.0 cooling using less power with quieter fans. And I have to say, in your hands this card feels extremely well made. And overall, I'm very impressed with the design that EVGA has put together for this card. So that's my unboxing of the EVGA GTX 1080 Super Clock card. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing installed and checking it out. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video was lame, well, sorry. But if it was awesome, please hit the like button. It really helps. And be sure to subscribe as well. When shopping on Amazon, please use the link in the description below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates. Have a great day.